we have discussed the process integration. Now we will focus on design optimization, which contains the methods of sensitivity analysis and optimization. Before we start with the methods themselves, we will explain three important terms for design optimization. This will help us to better understand the optimization problem. The first term is design parameter. Remember our hook example from the parametric analysis and optimization course, we choose parameters that we wanted to change on purpose. These are the design parameters. The first step is now defining the lower and upper bounds of your parameters. They can be continuous parameters with a lower and upper bound or discrete parameters which assume several discrete values or even binary parameters. The parameter bounds of all parameters span the design space. The second term is the objective function. We also defined auto parameters of our simulation by using them to formulate what we want to achieve with optimization, we derive objectives. For this hook, the objective might be to minimize mass. For other products, the objective might be the reduction of maximum stress, the improvement of efficiency, the reduction of a pressure drop, or to minimize the amplitude of a frequency or in general the cost of the product. The objective has for a combination of parameters a certain value and all of these in the design space gives you the objective function. Imagine for the hook this objective function that is, for instance, dependent on the parameters A and C the color of the contour plot indicates the value of the objective. We start with our initial design at a certain point in the design space, and our goal for optimization is to find the minimum. To achieve that, we need to change the design parameters. In engineering problems, often additional restrictions must be fulfilled by the optimal design. They can be formulated, for example, with the help of a constraint. This is the third important term, constraint. The constraint function can represent limitations depending only on the design parameters, but also on output parameters. And any combination of both. In our hook example, it might be keeping the maximum stress under a certain limit while we try to minimize mass. Certain parameter combination may lead to a light wave design but have a high stress above the constraint given. We are not interested in these areas of the design space, so we exclude them using the constraint, as illustrated with gray. Optimization problem. In parametric design optimization, the design parameters are systematically modified by mathematical algorithms to get an improvement of an existing design or to find a global optimum. Why it is necessary? Here's an analogy to better understand this problem. We see again the objective function dependent on A and C but for our CAE problems, we often do not have in such a function for the responses, objectives and constraints describing this dependency. The function is often unknown and implicit depending on the design parameters. So we visualize this with a Greg's box before the contour plot. You can picture a mathematical optimization algorithm like ours in the design space. We cannot see and do not know the objective function, but we can evaluate probs for a certain combination 
of design parameters a and c we get an objective values f so we can call the ECAE solver to get the output parameters and calculate the objective and constraint value of such a prop and we can repeat taking props comparing the results and based on this decide on next props by systematically modifying the design parameters and evaluating the objective values the algorithm can go in a certain direction or the design space optimization is tuning the design parameters to find the optimum.